Thank you for joining Wars of the Roses as we continue with part 33, lesson 32 of the Illumined Faith, Mystical Interpretation of the Gospel of St. John by R. Swinburne Clymer. Lesson 32. I am the Father of One. St. John, Chapter 10, 21 through 42. 21. Others said, These are not the words of him that hath a devil. Can a devil open the eyes of the blind? 22. And it was at Jerusalem, the feast of the dedication, and it was winter. 23. And Jesus walked in the temple in Solomon's porch. The feast of the dedication takes place when man has found the Christ. When the Christ is found within, the temple of Solomon is completed. The temple of Solomon is man when he is free from evil. The altar is within the Holy of Holies. The fire is upon the altar. The fire is the divine illumination. When man experiences illumination, he dedicates his whole life, all that is of him, to the work of the Father. 24. Then came the Jews round about him and said unto him, How long doest thou make us doubt? If thou be the Christ, tell us plainly. 25. Jesus answered them, I told you, and ye believe not. The works that I do in my Father's name, they bear witness of me. 26. But ye believe not, because ye are not of my sheep, as I said unto you. 27. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. 28. And I gave unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. 29. My Father which gave them me is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. By their fruits shall ye know them. They that do the work of the Father are from the Father. No man can do the work of the Father until he has become like unto the Father. To do the will of the Father is to do his works, and to do his works is to become his children. We then hear the voice of the Father when he speaks to us, for we know the Father. None can take us away from the Father. For before we knew the Father, we knew the things of the flesh, and now we realize that they are not lasting. We therefore now recognize both the voice of the thief, which is the flesh, and the voice of the Father, and we know that which is good. 30. I and my Father are one. He who has obeyed the divine law and who, through deliberate efforts to find the Christ, has found him, has become one with the Father. Only by making the effort to reach illumination and only by doing the works of the Father can we become one with the Father. 31. Then the Jews took up stones again to stone him. 32. Jesus answered them, Many good works have I showed you from my Father. For which of these works do ye stone me? 33. The Jews answered him, saying, For a good work we stone thee not. But for blaspheme, and because that thou, being a man, makest thyself God. 34. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law, I said, Ye are gods? 35. If he called them gods, and to whom the word of God came, and the scripture cannot be broken, the man of flesh, the carnal being, whose mind is not yet awakened, and who knows nothing but the self and the flesh, is not a God, but he whose mind has become awakened, he who has used the awakened mind in the building of a soul conscious, he who has received illumination and has cleansed his body so that it has become Solomon's temple or the temple of the living God. Such a man is a God. If he were not so, then the scriptures were broken and they cannot be broken. 36. Say ye of him, whom the Father hath sanctified, and sent into the world, thou blasphemest, because I said, I am the Son of God? He who keeps the divine law and does the work of the Father is the Son of God. And if he is the Son of God, then he, in a very true sense, identified with God. He who has attained the Christ consciousness 
and has become conscious of the infinite commits no blaspheme in identifying himself with the divine. 37. If I do not the works of my Father, believe me not. 38. But if I do, though ye believe not, believe the works, that ye may know and believe that the Father is in me and I in him. Ye are the temples of the living God. Is the fiat and no one can say nay. If this is not true, then the scriptures must be considered false. 39. Therefore, they sought again to take him, but he escaped out of their hands. 40. And went again beyond Jordan into the place where John at first baptized, and there he abode. 41. And many restored unto him, and said, John did no miracle, but all things that John spake of this man were true. 42. And many believed on him there. Thank you for watching, and please don't forget to share, like, subscribe, and comment. And if you can, please consider donating to Wars of the Roses. Links to PayPal and Patreon are in the description. Thank you so very much.